Hi, my name is Maura Tran and I am a top shelf financial model analyst. Today we are going to be talking about iterative calculations. Now you may be wondering, what are iterative calculations? How can I use them? I've never heard of this before. And luckily I can explain that to you. So iterative calculations are repeated calculations until a specific numeric condition is met. And I know that's a lot of words and it's kind of confusing, but basically it just means that iterative calculations perform the same calculation repeatedly, so over and over again, until it can find a stable result. And you may be asking, why do I need iterative calculations? And I can show you. So right now I'm in the multifamily development top shelf model, which you can buy from the TSM Financial Models website, and I'll include a link below. But right now I have iterative calculations turned off, and you can see that the circular reference pop-up box has a, came up. So it says there are one or more circular references where a formula refers to its own cell either directly or indirectly. This might cause them to calculate incorrectly. So I'm going to select OK, exit out of that, and the reason why there's a circular reference in our model is because of the construction budget. And you can tell that there's a circular reference because of these crazy blue arrows everywhere. It says circular references here at the bottom. And then also if you go to formulas, error tracking, circular references, it'll also tell you there. So. There is a circular reference here in the construction budget tab because the total budget sums the costs of the hard and soft costs, it sums the land costs, construction interest, and the financing fees all into the total budget. But the construction interest refers to the total budget as it's a percentage of the total budget. So in short, the total budget refers to the construction interest and the construction interest refers to the total budget. And so in order to you know, fix this circular reference, we go to file here and we can turn on enter calculations. So go to file, select options at the bottom, we'll go to formulas here, and then under calculation options, select enable iterative calculations. Right now I have mine set to 100 and usually that's what I use. Um, they can go all the way up to 32,000, but keep in mind that the more iterations you choose, the slower your calculations will be in the Excel file because there's just so many but also if there's too many, it'll crash your file. So 100 is typically where I stay around. So after enabling iterative calcs, I'm gonna select OK here, and then boom. There's no more circular reference, the arrows have disappeared, and when I go to error tracking, circular reference has disappeared. So now in the model, it'll calculate correctly, all of the calculations will sum through, no more circular references. And so that is basically how you turn on iterative calcs, and that's how you use it, and that's how you can fix your circular reference problems. So thanks for listening to my video today. Please check out our website at tsmfinancialmodels.com. Every week we're posting a new blog, and you can check it out. You can also use our custom model builder, and if you'd like to purchase a top quality model made by yours truly, you can go there and select, you know, if you want Mez, Refi, whatever kind of different real estate models you might need. So. Thanks guys, have a good weekend and stay tuned for next week.